morning, my friends. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. Hugs, my friend. The question is this. What has been your greatest mental, emotional challenge as a weight loss surgery patient? How did you recognize it? How did you or are you working to overcome it? Manage it and live with it. What advice do you have for someone caught in a mental emotional struggle related to being a weight loss surgery peep? For me, the biggest emotional issues that I had was it came with guilt. I don't know if everyone will be able to relate to what I'm saying and, and I hope that I, I make sense in what I say but emotionally I felt guilty when I couldn't take my girls where they needed to, needed to go and I had to call somebody and say uh, can you take my girl to practice uh, you know because I couldn't do it uh, there was reasons I couldn't do it you know I felt guilty that other people would stare at me and I'd make my daughter feel even though even though my daughters never ever made me feel like um, I wasn't welcomed in their lives with their friends and things like that I felt it I felt like I didn't want to embarrass them I felt guilty that I wasn't the mother that I should have been I felt guilty that I wasn't the wife that I could have been and so those emotions um, <laughs> are rushing back to me right now. Emotions would always over flood me. And what do you do when you're so trapped into something? I, for me, I hid what I ate. I ate at night or I'd eat on the way home from work. Uh, it just gave me enough pleasure you know, I got just enough drug to get me through the day. That sounds horrible, doesn't it? But it's true. And so I, I began to pack on the pounds. I found this, um, this little article about guilt. It goes like this. We feel guilt when others have reasons to think poorly of us. I used to think poorly. Oh, I used to think that they were thinking bad of me. Um, we are guilty when we harm others. We feel guilty when we recognize that harm. And I felt as if I was harming my children uh, and my husband by being so large. But there was, I felt like I was trapped and there was no way out. When you're 487 pounds, you just feel imprisoned in your own body. And so that guilt becomes your prison. Guilt encourages us to obey the golden rule and act compassionately. So, you know, people would say things to me and I would just take it and act like it was nonchalantly. I would just let it just flow off my back. But in reality, I was holding on to it. I was literally holding on to it as if I had a backpack and I was just adding every, every is issue and emotion and I was just building more on, onto my back. Guilt is the emotion that reflects a decrease in our social standing while shame reflects a decrease in, stat in stature. So the definitions basically is number one, feeling badly about my actions, the actions I, I, I didn't do anything about it. In fact, I would just stuff my mouth more, and that would make me feel, oh, why did I do that? I would have this guilt over me. Failure to meet another standards of behavior. Why can't I be like her? Why can't I have control? Try not to give you the glare. Having empathy, empathy but not acting from empathy. You know, I feel for you, sweetheart. I wish I could help you, but I can't help myself. Not meeting your responsibility to others. I felt so 
irresponsible. While shame is a failure to meet your own standards of behavior, guilt, on the other hand, is a failure to meet other standards of behavior. I don't want to get all lengthy in, in reading this. I never wanted to get to 487 pounds. That's never someone plans out. Uh, that's why we seek weight loss surgery. That's why we seek uh, diets and change of life and, and lifestyles that are better for us. We seek those things because we want better for us. But holding so much guilt, I can tell you that all I did was destruction because I thought I was only worth destruction. Again, I hope I make sense. The way I got out of it, or the way I, 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 I cleansed myself, was to learn the hard way, okay? I had to learn, after losing the weight and you know, doing better for myself and living the, the lifestyle that I live today, I had to choose this lifestyle, right? I chose weight loss surgery. I chose to better my life. So now, I must never let people make you feel bad. Ne never let them make you feel bad or even guilty for living the life you want to live. Just remember that this is your life and you can live it how you choose. I had to learn that. Really? I have a choice? I could do this? Yes. I could take that emotion that was sandwiching me in because that's what it was doing. It was making me shorter than what I really already am. <laughs> I'm only 4'11", guys. But I, it was sandwiching me in. Guilt was making me feel like there was heaviness over me. And the heaviness was the weight that I was carrying. Guilt isn't always a, a rational thing. Guilt is a weight that will crush you, whether you deserve it or not. It was crushing me. I knew I was a good mother. I knew I was doing my best with my husband. I knew. My mind would tell me, you can, you can stay away from, from those foods. You can stay away from those big portions. Do it. But the guilt kept saying, come here. You know you don't deserve that. You don't deserve what she has. You don't deserve what he has. This is what you deserve. You know, it's like that saying, you made your bed in, now lie in it. I got humongous. So now, there was no way out. And when someone was giving me the key... To have weight loss surgery, all I could do was thank them for opening the door. For opening this door. I may not be skinny mini. You all know me. But I live a better life today than I lived back then. Because I know now that I was killing myself willingly because I thought again it goes back to this I thought I was not worthy the guilt was crushing me again I'm not a good mom I'm not a good wife because I'm so large you can't do this you can't do that you can't go here you can't go there the only thing that goes on in your life is what you allow to go on in your life. Remember that. I allowed it. But when I was given the key, I said no more. I want my life back forever. There's going to be times where you're going to want to go back or you're going to think you can't handle this anymore. What's the point? I've gained 20 pounds, why not gain 20 more pounds? You have to find that key again.
In other words, grab the guilt, lock it in, lock it in its place. Throw it into the deepest sea for it never to return. Just let go. Let go of how you thought, again, your life should be. And embrace the life that is trying to work its way into your existence today. Oh, it's easier said than done, Rosemary. You did it. What makes you think I can do it? I could do it. I know you can do it. No amount of guilt can change the past. No amount. And no amount of worrying can change the future. You can worry and worry and worry and, you know, and some people are are trying to get the surgery. Some people already have the surgery. Some people are stuck in, in, in weight gain and, and it's just impossible. It is not impossible for the ones that are gaining the weight or maintaining like me. You have the tool. The doctor says, as long as you're not gaining weight, you're working your tool. <laughs> I thought, wow, songs of joy came rolling over me. I'm working it, I guess. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, last thing I want to say. So, my friend, no matter what you do, no matter how many times you screw up and think to yourself, there's no point, there's no point to carry on. No matter how many people tell you that you can't do it, keep going. Don't quit. Don't quit because a month from now, you will be that much closer to your goal than you are now. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. Make today count. Today. Again. Everyone knows yesterday's gone. And tomorrow may not be. But we've got today. I had to search for what I wanted and how I wanted to live. I couldn't live with that backpack holding me down anymore. I've done a video about rotten things in, in our backpacks. I was holding on to some rotten emotions. What has been your greatest mental, emotional challenge? It was the guilt that I carried. And now, I had to, first of all, let it go, and then forgive myself. People say, you didn't have anything to forgive. Yeah, I did. I had to forgive myself for damaging and wasting all those years. For my girls, my first husband, my family, my mother, my cousins, my brothers, my sister. And then I stopped to think, if I had not received that key, I would not have been able to hand it to my sister. Because what you do when you have weight loss surgery or any kind of, 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 of lifestyle change, people want to know, right? So you're able to hand them your key. Let's just keep handing our keys over and allowing people to change. I thank you for all the keys I've gathered in my life from your videos. Thank you, my friends, for listening. I'm sorry that it got choppy. I had to, I had to condense it as much as I could because I, I talked way too much. I hope you stay to the end. Let me know if you did. I love you. Go out be the best you that you know how to be and forget about the rest. I love you. Bye.